so we're going to have to change this somehow and we're going to have to if we want it to go smaller and lighter if we want it to go lighter then we've got to change this whole technology we've got to challenge the chemistry but there are solutions and you're going to have to work hard to find them but it's really good as a fire extinguisher put it into the into the beaker of water there and hopefully you can see there's an orange flame burning we'll produce iodine and oh my It's not perfect, it's not hagen -Dazs. Ultimate Eco Car is a fuel cell car. Fuel cell technology is practical in terms of cost and efficiency. The cost of developing fuel cell technology has already come down a great deal. The system for fuel cell takes extra energy as hydrogen has to be kept under low temperatures. I think there is another problem we have, and this is the diminishing stocks of fossil fuels. We do not have hydrogen in the atmosphere, and therefore we have to produce all the hydrogen you're going to need for your fuel cell. We need to have some political muscle to push it forward, or we simply focus on the science of it. Selenium sulfide, which is a compound, that's the stuff that kills the damage. You too! I'm watching you! A stem cell is basically an uncommitted mother cell. Rotors of the helicopters rotate, raise the lift. But the airplane, they have to keep flying and flying to cast the air. The energy actually is stored inside this bonding. When it breaks, the energy released. <laughs>